Good evening, everybody. I'm Kelsey, and I'm here with some friends. I have Nick. Hello. And Arden. Hi. And special guest star tonight is Cameron. Yay. 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 Welcome <laughs> to Stream Friends, Cameron. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to, to be here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so you should be seeing a blank screen. That is normal, everyone in chat. Uh, and hopefully you can hear us. Nobody's saying that they can hear us. <laughs> um, I, I hung out with Cameron in, like, real meat space last weekend. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was I good. Out, we had a, out with Cameron in real meat space last year. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like almost last weekend. Mm -hmm. I yeah. make it around these United States. <laughs> I'm definitely the odd one out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sure we'll. Uh, I just I only mention it because it's a special treat for me because I live in yeah the ass end of nowhere. And mm -hmm. <laughs> But there's weirdly no, enough, uh, I know where that I frequent. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's. <laughs> it is weird. <laughs> it's really genuinely weird. <laughs> I, I don't know if the stream is actually. I don't going. know. Are we live? This mm -hmm. is what the hell. Mm -hmm. People are. Uh, oh, I got a little flippy thing. <laughs> I just asked in chat, are we live? <laughs> oh, here it is. Are we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. I, okay. Apparently, I had to reload okay. or something. It wasn't loading automatically. Sweet. Okay, so the reason it's black is because I need everyone in chat to see this opening scene. Everybody <laughs> it's ready? It's really important. This is really important. This is the opening cut scene for Dungeon Keeper. Yes. <laughs> Peter Molyneux made this. <laughs> he forgot how to make games after this. Oh no. <laughs> I love it's Fable. It's not my fault. I love Fable. <laughs> oh yeah, that Fable is good. Did he do all this animation too? By hand. Yeah. That's why he's so revered. <laughs> Maybe he played this guitar solo. <laughs> Probably. He didn't do it, but he took credit for it. <laughs> do these goblins have nipple rings? Yes. Yeah. They do. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> 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 I love that they're playing poker. <laughs> yeah, these guys are just hanging out and you just seem like you're being like a real jerk here. Yeah, this knight is a jerk. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, Bats. <laughs> I love how the uh, like the metalness of this is undercut by the adorable awkwardness of all the animations. Yeah. <laughs> like nothing is actually badass right now. <laughs> oh, I love this screen. The loading screen with the uh, the CD. Yeah. Excellent. Our our cursor is horny. Horn Reaper. The Horn Demon, yeah. Shush. <laughs> That's his Shush. name! <laughs> no. Have a smile. No. Set mm. in the realm of joy, the people of Eversmile are plagued only by aching facial muscles, <laughs> and not anthrax as we had hoped. Oh. Eversmile is a disgusting <laughs> land of good humor and polite frivolity. This is Peter Molyneux's voice. Is it? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, the premise of Dungeon Keeper is that you're bad, and you're fighting against forces of good. 
just in case anyone didn't pick up on that. <laughs> they actually did until the knight got his head cut off uh, in, the, in the opening cutscene, and then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that would probably make sense as to why this is called Dungeon Keeper. We are the Dungeon Keeper. <laughs> Where do I mean? Where do we keep it? <laughs> and I love that um, that guy's voice. Ooh, oh, this music is so good. Okay, the first thing a keeper needs is somewhere to keep gold when it's been mined out of the rock phase. It's to create a treasure room. Oh my gosh! Collect, select the treasure room icon from the rooms panel and fill the empty area to the west with treasure room tiles. I need to re-remember all of these keys. <laughs> This is a message. This is a... Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I just... I, I don't know why I never connected this before, but this What's game is... is to store gold? Um, actually, I don't know what happened, but the game got louder again. What? Oh, yeah, hold on. I will turn well, that down. treasure room. <laughs> Some it's important. You have tunneled into a new area. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh no, you're uh, good. It's okay. Woo. Uh oh. Um, uh -oh. The, this is real. Uh, uh -oh. Dwarf fortress. There. Okay. Apparently, took some ideas from this. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna build a treasure room. That's right, little imps. You dance on those walls. <laughs> I know. Look at them, just like they look like they're having a little party. They're oh so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> the they imps are. are the cutest thing ever. And sometimes you have to hit them. I'm not no. going to. I don't want yeah, to hit huh, them. To make them work faster. No, oh my god. I have do so it. many messages. Yeah, hit them on the butt. <laughs> don't they like it, though? I think they yes. make, like, happy oh. No, only the only the mistresses there. like it. The imps oh. do not like it. They squeal. I was going to say, I don't know if that's better or worse. I mean, I guess better, but... <laughs> um, you know. But I can pick them up. Where's, where's one? Come here! They're so cute! Oh, yeah. And in the second one, everybody has a name. So you can get attached yeah. to them. Stop running around. Okay, so I have one in my hand now. It's that grunting noise. <laughs> He's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> okay, uh, now we need a lair. Hmm. I don't think I've ever recovered from this game. <laughs> uh, before stream, we were talking about our experiences with this game. Um, and I know that when I tweeted about, because I tweeted about this when everyone was talking about how awful that interview with Peter Molyneux was, I'm like, I really like some Peter Molyneux games like Dungeon Keeper and Black and White and Fable. I'm like, I want to stream mm -hmm. some of them on Stream Friends. And then Cameron was like, let me know if you do Dungeon Keeper. I'm like, okay, let's do it. So I played this a lot as a kid and as a teenager. Um, and you guys should all talk about your experience with it now. <laughs> Um, Cameron should go last, because his is going to be the longest, probably. Yeah, I hope you guys got two hours. <laughs> yeah. I, I've never played this game before, or seen it. Okay. That's, that's it. <laughs> Sweet. I, uh, I never played it as a kid, but I knew friends that had it, um, and I, for whatever reason, I never played it at their houses or anything, but I knew of it, and I always wanted to play it, but I didn't have a computer that could run it at the time. Uh, so I didn't play it until it came out on GOG.com, mm -hmm. mm. and I picked up that version, which is the version we're playing here. Right? Yes, yep, we're playing yeah, the GOG so. version. I have it on CD, but um, my CD drive is currently not working right now. There's a uh, Lady Gaga CD stuck in it, <laughs> so <laughs> I couldn't install the CD version. <laughs> so this is the DOS version. I don't know what the difference <laughs> is. Yeah. So now we'll start to get minions that are not um, mm -hmm. imps. Yeah, we'll get a warlock or two. But yeah, no, my mom used to play this game a lot. Yeah? Um, yeah, this and the sequel. I don't think she actually liked the sequel. I think she only liked this one. But So mm -hmm. she would play it all the time. And so I played it like as a kid and then like as a teenager and then again when it came out on GOG. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's just super dope. And like I love the uh, just total inversion like, I love the, it, it just says, all right, what are, like, fantasy stereotypes, mm -hmm. right? We'll just invert those without <laughs> any concern for, like, what that might mean. Right. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> it's not, like, it's it, it's not cleverly done in any way. It's just, like, all right, so fantasy does this, so we'll do the other thing. 
Uh -huh. and I, I like that kind of like lazy slapdash world construction. So I think that's pretty rad. I mean, in a way, like doing it like that is kind of clever in its own way, in that, like, I don't know. Let's yeah, not make it I, more than it does, Nick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's cool. Oh, yeah, and you can pick up chickens yeah. or baby chicks. What? And sometimes they'll live long enough to become a chicken. That's, like, kind of real bullfrog. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. They don't get eaten. That's that, like, really bullfrog, like, attention to detail that fundamentally does not matter. But it's great, right, when it happens. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, spawn those imps. <laughs> I love the noises. I love everything. They're really cute. <laughs> I like. I'm like mad about how cute they are. <laughs> honestly. Oh wow! I just I love this game even more. Uh, Kitty Horror Show in the chat says, uh, "Hilarious games industry in joke. The final boss is the avatar of." ultimate fame. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never gotten that far. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, like the difficulty of this game really ramps up. It does. Toward it, the end. Mm -hmm. Because it becomes less like a big strategy game and a puzzle game, mm -hmm. right? It becomes about like navigating because and I guess we'll talk about this a little bit later, but these walls where they do the little wall dance, mm -hmm. those are unbreakable walls. And so the enemy can do that as well, like the yep. good guys. Mm -hmm. And so um so it becomes like managing who controls what wall and these like small gaps and they introduce just purely unbreakable walls like bedrock or something. And so it becomes like this long form puzzle game at some point. They're gonna pop through here. You can get through these but it just takes a lot longer. Mm -hmm. That sounds uh, potentially tiresome a little bit. Yeah, it becomes like, like a chore oh, yeah. at the end. Yeah. It's oh, a... Right. Turns into an endurance challenge. Beetles or big cockroaches. I forgot about that. Yep. No, come back. Oh, no! They all went down in what the. What happened? Oh, you dismissed them all. I dismissed them the, all. The... Back to hell. Damn it. Because <laughs> uh. I dropped. Because I, I thought that didn't do it. It doesn't do it in the sequel unless you drop them like right in the middle of that square. Well, maybe I'll get some back. <laughs> yeah, here's another beetle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more friends. The okay. enemy has broken through your walls. Oh no! Uh oh, that's inopportune. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say. I already fucked up. I'm the worst <laughs> dungeon keeper ever. Your creatures are under attack. <sighs> I love this dude's voice. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Maybe I can do this with some imps. <laughs> the enemy has broken through your walls. Yeah, fight it out. Fight that like dwarf guy. <laughs> yeah, I really don't like that when, in this game when you go into the map mode, it reorients you like I know. the top. I know. I'm not sure how to... I think it might attack. be like page up, page down to uh, rotate. Is it page down? Your minions are winning yep. the battle. There. Yeah, that's my memory for you. <sighs> Some imps and like one beetle did that. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Savor your first victory while you can, you have attracted the wrath of the lord of this realm. His party will soon be here. Oh my yeah. god. We're not... <laughs> Look, I don't know if we're like in shape for this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need more beetles! <laughs> um... M.A. says, can you slap the attacker? I can't remember. I'll try that next time. <laughs> but I don't want to slap my people. I love this so much. Me too. I'm gonna go immediately play this game <laughs> again. Uh, I wanna, I wanna play oh. this one, and I wanna. Oh, where are they? Oh no, never mind. It's just flies attacking. More is in the chat. Says you can slap the heroes, and it, it helps. Oh, apparently. Mm. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna smack them around. Yeah, <laughs> I think this level. I used to. I've played through these first few levels a lot of times. I think in this one, you can uh, claim territory if you dig in a certain way, all the way up to their spawn point. Mm. <gasps> Beware. Uh, Kitty Horror Show says you we can imprison the invaders 
and then you can slap them. If they die while they're imprisoned, they become skeletons. Yes, that's right. If they, if they die by being tortured, they become ghosts. Okay, skeletons, though. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's make some skeletons. I want to make some yeah, skeletons. Yeah, it takes a while to get to there, I think, but we can definitely do it. Yeah, um, I'm, sure we'll, I'm sure we'll play well, that's another our, That's night. our goal, then. No. Yeah, that's like the beauty of this. Yeah, that's the Lord of the Realm. I can't drop them in here. I'm not dropping them in there. Where? You just gotta wait till it yeah. comes in your territory, I think. One of his flower Because you can only drop on the control. <laughs> right. Uh, where's like the, the nearest? Um, the knights, like, there's something about the, the way that the knight armor is modeled. It makes it look like they're wearing, like, bell-bottom metal pants. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is, but... You need really uh, like, ankle movement. Yeah, I don't know. They, they just look, like, oddly, like, flared. Like, the... The greaves, I guess, is what they're called. Like the boots. Like they just look really flared out. Your creatures are under attack. Like Your creatures are under attack. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Get <laughs> up. My beetle Come on. You guys got this. Your creatures are falling in battle. Ugh. <laughs> are those the beetles Your screaming? Are a battle. Uh, I think they conquered this realm. Yeah, I think so. Your work here is done. Now there's no one to prevent you from obliterating this nauseating realm and expanding your empire into a neighboring land. Uh, nice. Yeah, nice. when we go back to the world map, we get a nice little surprise. Yep. Success land is yours. Press space to proceed. I like the statistics it gives you at the end. Branna Hawk. War and anthrax have taken to this land like fleas to a rat. The region is, <laughs> thanks to your unstinting efforts, now a major eyesore. Nice. <laughs> um, Nina that says, a good voice. Hi Arden, love Nina. Who says what? Nina says, Hi Arden, love Nina. Hi Nina, love Arden. <laughs> <laughs> and hi Kitty Hart. Every time I say hi to people on stream, I wave at my computer. And <laughs> I, like, I do it every time and it's so annoying. <laughs> they know. It's, it's worth the effort. They feel it. Oh. Yes. It's lava now. <laughs> I love this like world. You can scroll around a little bit, in which right? The prosperous citizens have no gripes or moans. Sadly, yeah, there's like some Mayan temples. Secure. This is because they are punished for non-existent crimes. <laughs> I love how you're like looking out the window of your tower. Yeah. Like. That's so yeah. cool. Like, oh yeah, I never noticed that before. Yeah, like I guess you like Sauron or something. Yep. Yeah, you're like I actually, the land. I never realized that you could scroll the map around at all. <laughs> 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 Which tells you how far I ever got. <laughs> is that the CD of Sauron? It is. Mm -hmm. Treasure room, lair, hatchery, claim a portal. Yeah, yeah, okay. I've been playing this for... And if you have a scratched up game disc, you get to see that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's something Gold. we have lost. The music in this is really good, too. I don't think I've ever listened to the music. I think it's just the first time. Ooh, this I'm a pretty big serial uh, turn the music off and listen to something else person. Oh, really? Oh, I can't do that. It, like, messes with me too pressure? much. This is mm. gold. Kitty says there are secret levels in this game that can only appear based on moon phases taken from your computer. There are! Calendar. I remember that! What? Oh, wow. <laughs> and, like... You have to be like that... Like, no. <laughs> yeah, like... like yeah, it's that bullfrog magic of, like, not making sure basic features work. <laughs> like, giving you moon phases. And if you play late at night, it, he's like, shouldn't you be asleep? <laughs> um, oh, cool. And if you play on... Um, there are certain holidays too, I think, where if you play, then he he tells you different stuff. Um, Karth in the chat says if you push Alt R, it makes it look a little nicer, and I I went and confirmed that it actually changes it to a higher res. Oh, so. wow! Oh, wow. cool. I wanted to go check to make sure that uh -huh. Karth was like, telling like, us like yeah, yeah. like. Alt F4. Control, alt delete. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, I'm mining. You drive a. This is a. 
I'm making bigger rooms than 3x3. Three three, Cause I think that's too small. I want a luxurious dungeon. Yeah, go for it. Treat yourself. <laughs> Treasure. The the thonk noise is so satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it's got a good game feel. Yeah. <laughs> you need to build a um, your creatures. I'm really surprised that I, we didn't really see it in the last one. I guess or in, on the last level, but the reason you need gold is that uh, you have to pay your minions. Yes. And That's it's really. Good. Yeah, it's really easy to run out of money mm -hmm. and for everything to go south incredibly quickly. <laughs> and I kind of like that. That's so cute that you have to pay your minions. That's like, mm -hmm. that's. I'm sorry, that's really adorable. And and I think later you can build a casino actually. <laughs> and they'll ridiculous. and they'll go gamble after work. <laughs> that's so cute. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Chickens. I, I really like um, strategy games like this where the units have a bit of their own autonomy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of that. There's even, they have rivalries. So uh, yeah. like a spider and a fly will fight and one, eventually all the spiders will kill the flies or vice versa if they meet. Oh no. <laughs> um, I forgot the, the horn devil, I think is what it's called. Um, but the guy who lopped off the, uh, the knight's head oh, at yeah. the beginning. He just picks fights with everybody, so the best method of, like, <laughs> using it is to, um, build, like, his own little separate wing and, like, lock it off from everybody else and only call him in during fights. Yeah, he, uh, he's a pain, but he's- He's, yeah. like, your dramatic, like, like, Hollywood movie star. <laughs> he's awesome, though. It's like, oh, we really need this guy, like, to just <laughs> give, keep him away from everyone else. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Horned Reaper. Yes. That's what someone said. Affectionately known as Horny. <laughs> yeah. In like all the copy and stuff and on the he's on the front of both of the boxes. Children. <laughs> um and on the second game box he's like doing a Charlie's Angels thing with the Dark Mistress. Yeah. I love her. She's awesome. <laughs> Chickens! Uh, M. Mace says, I'm pretty sure they use female pronouns for horny. Do they? Oh, cool. Really? Interesting. I had no idea. Huh. Can you, like, I mean, pet your little chickens? I can pick them up. And okay, but can you, like, pet them no. nicely? No, okay. I can also smack you them, but that'll make them explode no! in the feathers. I'm not gonna do it! Don't I'm not do gonna that. do it! <laughs> I'm a vegetarian! So I, don't, I don't even like killing, like... <laughs> Virtual animals. <laughs> I get so mad when like games make me like kill dogs or something. Mm -hmm. Like I get so mad like in like the Fallout games. Yeah. You'll just be like doing your own thing and there's a dog and I'm like, I don't wanna fight you, buddy. Like I <laughs> run away as fast as I can. Let me give you some beef yep. jerky. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like please don't make me like fight a dog. Oh, I should I make some dogs. more imps. I uh I have a a character that I play in multiple RPGs and stuff, and I she's a vegetarian, mm -hmm. so I always roleplay that. Nice. And uh, I've I've rolled her in games before where something I had to kill an animal, mm -hmm. like not not a demon or something, just like a bear yeah. to move on, and I I stopped the game and rerolled a new character. Oh no. Nice. <laughs> To have Vel hurt a, a woodland creature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, in Fable, um, in all of the games, if you if you eat um, like tofu and uh, fruit, you, you stay. Oh yeah, it makes your like good like meter go yep, up. Yep, your right? good meter goes up, and then if you eat the meat or, and the like the baby chickens and stuff, your yeah, evil well, meter goes baby up. Baby chicks is like really messed up. It's like, really messed up because the crunch noise is awful. I know it's terrible. <laughs> Training. Yeah, I remember those moments of just being like out of items and having to eat everything in your inventory. Uh huh. Yeah. And just being like, I guess I'll eat 15 baby chickens. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, 
I'm desperate. What was like, yeah, this, this is my only option. We have a demon spawn now. Possible. They're really cute. They're like cute lizards. Watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're eating our chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. Everybody eats chickens, which is weird, but okay. Uh, superhero phase is I remember spending 99% of my time playing this game casting this spell that lets you control a creature yes. and just wandering around the map pretending to go about my daily life as an imp or whatever. <laughs> yeah, because that spell is like pretty important for getting imps to do stuff that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh huh. Like uh, right going through water and mining a certain thing. The AI gets a little finicky. Um, I remember. Some moments. In in number two, I would do that all the time, and I would go attack as the creature and stuff. It's so fun. Mm -hmm. Is, do I have that spell yet? I do. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. Oh, I can possess a chicken too. Watch. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! It actually makes it first person. Yep. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> and you have like, if they have spells or whatever, you have access to the spells. Yep. You can attack as them. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. This is a cool game. Yeah. But yeah, I tried to play Empire or whatever, that, that game they, that came out in the past couple years that was billed as like a Dungeon Keeper-esque, and it was terrible. Oh. It doesn't hit any of the high notes. Which is sad. Yeah. It's not like even remotely the same kind of game, but uh, like tonally, the uh, the Overlord games really match. Mm. Yeah, because like, well, it's like the same basic premise and That's you right. know, overall, uh, you know, cheeky humor tone. Mm -hmm. I, I like those games a bunch. I have those, but I haven't played them yet. They're like they're like Pikmin, except your Pikmin will. Crack open a pumpkin and put it on their head, <laughs> and then pee on someone's lunch. <laughs> no, That'd be rude. Play. You need a bigger training. Room. Oops. <laughs> sure, I can expand. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It looks like you have a, a lot of money right now. Yeah, it's because I mined out all this stuff. And they're oh, still nice. they're still mining it. Still going. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, we haven't gotten like a gem block yet, right? No, but those are great. Okay, those are super cool. I really like the way that the but like all these different tile or block pieces get integrated into puzzles later. Mm -hmm. Like using the gem as a way of like uh, like time gating you from certain content. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh man, Ooh. can you can yeah. you possess? Yeah, a fly I just saw what Kitty me? said. Uh, I think the DOS version has visual filters when you possess creatures that the later D3D versions didn't have, so possessing a fly is a visual nightmare. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, where's a fly? Quick moving. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> no. I don't. Oof. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. How do I. Oh. Oh Yay. my god, stop. <laughs> oh, the, the y-axis is backwards. <laughs> I can't... Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, I wonder what other people... Like, can you, can you, oh. Is there like a oh, god. editor in this or anything? Ugh. Uh, I don't think so. Is there, Oh, I think Kitty is saying yes. Fish eye. Know. Nonsense. I'd never use it if there is one. Uh, who else do we have? I think imps are just normal. Oh, I, I think... She just react the Twitch is on a delay, so uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, oh, also hellhounds are colorful. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, oh, beetles. I don't. Where's a beetle? I thought you said yeah. beetle, and it was all like. Oh, that was the um the the demon spawn. Yeah. Oh. I love that they were like. Oh, they're all sleeping. We know that a whole third of this game becomes more interesting when you can possess things, so we'll give you that for free. Yeah. <laughs> Just take this. Oh, that's also fishbowl. Okay. Hi, I woke it I up. I was gonna say it's uh, it would be payday. I wonder if like it would be amazing if there was like a sub culture of people like just carving out dungeons and then giving you one creature and then they like save and share the map and the whole point is you just have one creature and possession. <laughs> 
and you're just supposed to possess that creature and then move through the the, the maze or whatever. <laughs> it sounds like you've just created a fandom. Yes. That, <laughs> I mean, the Dungeon Keeper mod community. Yeah. <laughs> At one point, I wanted to write scenario generation. A Dungeon Keeper fan fiction, but that never got off the ground. <laughs> back to it. I should. Because um, I remember I remember one time, because they named them in, um, in number two, so I remember having my notebook and I would just write down all the creature names so I would have like this vast name database Aww. to draw that's from. That's so cute. Oh my god, that's adorable. That's really cute. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they've got names in this one too, they just don't display the same way. Oh. Because when you're possessing them, I think their names are appearing on the, oh. on the left pane. Let me see. Oh, that's right. There's this, um, info panel and it shows you how long till payday, um, how long till your next research thing is done, how long till your next workshop thing is done, how many rooms you have, how oh. many creatures you have. Oh, and this is the, oh. the flea button is a chicken and it'll make everyone run away, run back to base, I think. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh, there's a dwarf! Yeah. Look at this jerk! Your creatures are attacking the enemy! That's right, they are. I'm just dumping everybody on top of him. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, boys. <laughs> One dwarf. <laughs> Look, we're not taking care of this. Oh, that fly. Those flies are so squishy. I feel bad. I shouldn't yeah, throw them in there. Yeah, I love if they can't, like, get in the front lines or whatever. They just stand in the middle. Like, they're being very supportive. They're doing the best they can. Oh, that's right. When do we get a bile demon? Oh, you know? boy. Your creatures are I don't know. Attack. Um, I forgot that you can, like, you can pick up some money and drop it on top of a creature, and then they'll get excited. You can make it rain. Yep. Your creatures are falling in battle. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, he just laughed because I gave him trouble. money. <laughs> yeah, where's the trouble? <laughs> Over here. Okay. Oh, there they are. Look at the imp. Like, ah! Gotta go! <laughs> Your creatures are attacking the enemy. <laughs> Are Can you actually maybe turn it yeah. down a little more? I'm sorry. It's fine. Why? Don't say sorry. It's, if it's if it's too loud, it's too loud. I turned it to. It's, it's not like the sound is like a vital part. No, it's of not. the experience here. Except the narrator, but like during this, oh, well, it's fine. Like negative. Deal with it. Yeah. Also, you meant you turned your mic down as well that time. Oh, it it. Mm. Oh yeah. Is this okay? Is this okay? Yeah. You could be a little. Louder. Is this okay? Shrugs. I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> the they're tied together. Like the desktop oh, sound okay. and my mic are tied together. So it, yeah, you're fine. Okay. It's well, fine. your mic should be the one all the way on the left. Oh. So if you turn that one up, oh, okay. it will compensate for turning everything else down. Your creatures are under attack. How's uh -oh. this? Get back in there. <laughs> is this okay? Streaming is easy, and we are professionals. Okay. Yep. Oh. That your is. Oh my gosh! What is that? Whoa. When you your creatures are attacking the when enemy. I alt tabbed out, it got weird. Where'd my yeah, menu go? I remember go? last time I played this tabbing in and out had a had a weird effect. Ah, uh, this game also Your has the like graveyard. Where'd my menu go? <laughs> what is the graveyard? Ah, uh, I forgot what it does. Kitty will know. Kitty, what does the graveyard do again? I think it produces vampires. I'm yes, sure. um, yeah. So like when a when a monster dies, your imps will just take them to the graveyard and bury them, and I think it produces a vampire from that. Game nice. saved. Computer assistance menu. <laughs> That's, oh, aggressive. Aggressive. Defensive. Construction Ooh. only. Move only. That's yeah, weird. Okay, so yeah, graveyards do produce vampires. I still don't know where my menu went. Oh yeah, that that's not there anymore. No, it's huh. not. So I can't really. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Just feel uh, it. Just do it by feel. Is it alt? Maybe. Did that like does Your alt tab? Are under attack. Or, no. Or maybe it's tab? I don't know. Yes, it's tab. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good call. Where Where is everybody? Oh, I don't have any flies left. 
Oh no. Where? Your creatures are falling in uh, battle. Oh, they're oh, right here? Okay. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your minions are winning the battle. I love them so much. <laughs> they, just, they just scream. They're all like, no, back to training. So unnecessary. It is. Your creatures are it's very amazing. loud. How no, many? If I, ever, if I ever make a game like this, it will be no. pure screams all the time. <laughs> Everything will always at some point. Oh, Sorry. How many, how many of these voices do you think is Peter Molyneux just doing a silly voice? Minions are winning a battle. That's it. Beware. He comes up with the idea the and he creates the, the sound. That's it. <laughs> he does all the voices. I think it would be brilliant if you made a game where you were the bad guy. <laughs> Here's a scream sample you can use. Oh yeah, Kitty Horror Show. Oh, but no, his actual scream sample's just like, whoa. <laughs> and they just they just pitch it up. Yeah, like a billion times. Oh my god. Kitty, Kitty Horror Show. Oh, yes. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> this is scream number one. <laughs> oh. Stop. Here is um, take dude. number two. Oh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> oh, is this the hero gate down here? Quiet. You might need to turn up yeah. the volume again just a little bit, just so we can hear you in your beautiful voice. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pump, 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 you pump. Can, pump. You can crank the left one up I'll even like more safely. Crank it. Okay, it's all the way up. Is that okay? Yeah, you're you're louder now. Okay, but you you can hear you're me. Still a little quiet. You're still pretty quiet. Yeah, do the other one now again. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Sweet. That's fine. Okay. <sighs> it's just it's just when they start screaming. <laughs> the problem is yeah. happen. <laughs> next time it happens, I'll mess with the in-game volume instead. This is the hero gate down here, which is where all the heroes spawn from. Um, and if you can surround it with your own tiles, it'll close it. Nice. But we don't have any if, uh, bridges or anything. Your creatures are under attack. If we play this again, I'll make a mod to replace all the screams with the the Peter Molyneux screams. <laughs> it's like my um. <laughs> Did I ever show you guys the video? That's uh. <laughs> if you want to look at it, it's great. Just search on YouTube. I replaced every sound in Morrowind with the Tim Allen grunt. That's <laughs> exactly what it sounds like, and it's my favorite video ever. <laughs> like, your it, it, it are like gets attack. funnier the more I watch it. It's so good. <laughs> I like to. Did you notice that on the hatchery, the wallpaper is just like chickens? Yes, I'll go back there. Chicken picture. It's the Lord of the Land. Get him! Beat him up! Beat him to death, my minions! Are winning a battle. We did it! have conquered this realm. Harder the heroes may have been, but they were obviously no match for your forces. It's true. Look at that death animation. That dude is just shooting blood. Oh. Yeah, he's like he's going. <laughs> I got a hundred style points. I Dark think that's pretty good. The surviving citizens have more on that. I wonder what uh what does style points measure? I don't dead think dead I ever adventurers to mount. really worried about it or knew. Not that many citizens have survived as such. Do other people know? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh oh. Kitty says hot tip for the next map. Uh oh. We're all waiting in <laughs> real time. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Getting on up there. I can't Is I'm it, trying to Google it and all I can find on Dungeon Keeper style <gasps> points <gasps> is reviews oh, of the terrible free to play like Dungeon Keeper. Oh. Oh. No one can um, So Kitty says I for this map yeah. you take random shocking oh, I'm sorry. meted out arbitrarily. It's okay. Uh, so Kitty says, if you dig straight west, there's a tunnel that leads to a barracks with a pair of skeletons. Sweet. <gasps> Thank you. We'll get those. We'll get <laughs> you just you just made this whole playthrough for our <laughs> version. Real excited. 
So yeah, just straight west. Yep. Kitty's nope. setting us up. Mess that up. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go it's right, right, now, like we're gonna <laughs> right into hero territory. Oh, I actually see where it is. I see where it is. Yeah. I think. All right, let's just I get it. go with that. And I can make some stuff off of this anyway. Ooh, gold. Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> Thank you, Kitty. I know the secrets of the second one a lot better than the secrets of this one. I'm gonna start putting that in every review I do. What? What? Like even if there is no second game, I know the secrets of the second game. <laughs> Way more than the secrets of this one. Just irrespective of whatever content it is. <laughs> I wonder if the GOG version came with a soundtrack because it's pretty sweet. Hmm. I don't know. I don't, I, I want to say no just because I don't. Uh, I think it or when at least when I got it, it was like pretty bare bones. Mm. But I bought it pretty early. So it might now. I'm building. They are pretty generous with uh, updating the mm -hmm. things and adding a ton of bonus stuff. Yeah. Like, because it didn't have um, deeper dungeons when it first came out, but they added that in. Um, hmm, cool. And I never had deeper dungeons, because I think it... I don't think it was made by Bullfrog. Hmm. But I don't remember. Ooh. Yeah, I don't even remember... I didn't know there was an expansion, even to this day. Yeah, I don't think that they... I, I want to say that it's not Bullfrog affiliated, which is why it was very hard to get at. No, it doesn't look like there is a soundtrack. Darn. Uh, but you can download dev team photos. Oh, boy. Oh, really? Does that, oh, that's I, the man. I bet, that, I bet Peter is right in front there. <laughs> I bet he's lounging. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I also like that you are on first name basis with Peter Molyneux. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he is now Peter. Oh, me and, me and Pete. Oh, yeah. Peter, Peter has two pictures. Peter one, <laughs> Peter two. I guess they could be different Peters. Oh, that would be sad if you worked in a company where Peter Molyneux and you had to be Peter two. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Oh, god. All the time. Like, Never gonna be just Peter. Yeah, I just like wanna that. be Peter. Peter <laughs> one. Nope, they're two different pictures of Peter Bowen. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so. Oh, you're such a baby. Aw. <laughs> baby Petey. Because this was what, 97? Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Probably. I have no idea. Oh my god. This guy, oh man, I wish I could put this on the stream right now. <laughs> Is this your new Twitter picture? Have to picture? describe it. There, <laughs> there. Um, so apparently, Simon has been claimed. Uh, you need to build a lair for your creatures. Had a very specific uh, image he wanted to convey in his picture, mm -hmm. and it, it is uh, he is wearing a uh, like an old timey puffy shirt. Uh huh. <laughs> With okay. uh, a vest, I'm guessing it's probably corduroy. It's black and white, so I can't really tell. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, and matching pants, some kind of dark color, uh, and no shoes, and also round. Um, you need to build a lair for your creatures. Round. Uh, this guy from the Beatles that wore those round glasses all the John time. Lennon. Yeah. Round of Lennon style sunglasses. I feel like you're improvising this entire thing. And he's yeah. Sitting on the floor with his hands clasped, looking upward at the camera with a keyboard in front. That sounds amazing. I'm gonna look at my death pictures why after this. Why no shoes? <laughs> also, how is he not fired immediately? Like, how did he not show up to work the first day and people were like, no, I'm okay, thank you. There it is. I put it in the Skype chat. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I just looked at it. Yep. Oh, he's not barefoot, he's wearing socks. Oh, I mean, well, okay, yeah, sorry. Well... He, he's wearing socks, but... I thought that this was a I think that man. might be somehow worse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The 
this is initial. Uh, Sorry. There's Babe Peter. Also. This initial, like, dungeon building phase is so soothing. Like, before mm. anybody's attacking you, I just want to build my the dungeon of my dreams. <laughs> yeah, someone was saying above if you do a 5x5 five five layer and a 5x5 five five hatchery, that's how you can get the Bile Demon. Yep, that's what I just built. Oh, okay, good. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It's okay. Thanks. Yeah, I always try to do 5x5 five five at least, because I feel like 3x3 three three is, like, barely adequate. Yeah. Especially once you start getting a lot of creatures. Mm-hmm. I like the eggs just pop out of the ground. Just uh -huh. <laughs> They're hell eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but they make such cute little chickens. I know. They probably breathe fire if you when you're not looking. There's not. I I've looked through a, a lot of like the Gama Sutra uh, postmortems, but I, and I don't think there is one of these. Uh -huh. But this is like the classic game postmortem I want to see. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, I want to know everything about this game and how it was made. <laughs> <laughs> Evac in the chat says when we were talking about being uh, familiar with Peter, <laughs> she says, me and P Mall. <laughs> P Mall, oh my god. Um, Vorpal Femme says, so is Kelsey actually keeping the dungeon and the rest of you are kind of interior decor consultants? Yes. <laughs> yeah. More spikes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my mm, good. professional interior. Good call. <laughs> the time has come to build a library. Libraries are where new devices, room designs, and magic spells are researched. Make a library mm -hmm. at least as big as the other rooms. Researchers like quiet, so try to build your library off the side of a corridor. Yeah, if you build a library like where there's through traffic, like behind a hatchery or something, all the warlocks will get really pissed off. <laughs> that's really cute. Oh my god. I really Why like is this. Game so adorable. Like <laughs> <laughs> It is, it's so cute for being so evil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a um I really like so as things level up and I think they level up to what? Level ten, Kelsey? Ten, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when they get to level ten, they're like they just increase in size by some like arbitrary multiplier. So by the time they're level ten, they are massive compared mm -hmm. to the level one ones. And I love the idea. I like seeing all the like giant warlocks just like huddling around <laughs> and looking and like staring at one another and being weird. They're awesome. Oh, we are really close to the skeleton thing. Yes. Ready, Skeletor. Where's it? Oh, I should make some more imps because I only have four. God, so my business cards came the other day. <gasps> yeah. And I, I put on the back of them, it, it says like my name, and then beneath it, it says writer, narrative designer, and skeleton enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> my family was like, oh, let me see your business cards. And I was like, okay. And I showed it to them, and they didn't even say anything. <laughs> so, skeleton enthusiast part. And I th I don't know if they've like finally just accepted me for who I am, or if I've just like broken them, and they don't have it in them to care anymore. Oh. Like, and I'm just like, nothing? Oh. Like, really? Like... Please. I just like late at night after you're asleep, they're at the like they all meet at the dining room table and like listen. <laughs> we need, we need there's the skeleton else. enthusiast thing that we gotta talk about. <laughs> there's a skeleton enthusiast in our family. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's just like really guys like or, no I, mean, I don't know. It could go the other way and you wake up the next morning and there's a skeleton in your bed and then your mom pokes her head in and she says, We love you for who you are, honey. <laughs> like, we just accept you. We accept you. Or, alternate, even beyond that, they go, finally. Finally, <laughs> she's with the rest of the family. Yeah. <laughs> we have like, we, we all totally knew this. already, duh. <laughs> yeah. Or like, we We've come from a very proud line of skeleton enthusiasts. <laughs> Uh, oh, they get out the family, they... like the family Bible, and there's like a little SK beside every name back for 200 years. <laughs> Birth date, skeleton enthusiast date, death date. <laughs> All the way back. Library. That's a fine collection of parchments and tombs you've assembled. Most creatures can engage in research, but warlocks make the best and keenest researchers. Stupid trolls have trouble holding books the right way up and sometimes even chew the pages. 
they're doing their best. They are. I believe in them. The scent of arcane knowledge has lured a greedy warlock into your dungeon. Don't forget to train your warlocks occasionally. Their spellcasting abilities make them fine long-range fighters. How did this dude just smell books? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want this guy in our dungeon. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's a book sniffer. That's freaking creepy. I mean... I <laughs> I mean, I I, I admit, when I get a new book, I do smell it, but I don't think I could smell books from, like, the depths of hell. <laughs> well, have you tried? <laughs> no. Well, see here. There we go. <laughs> Actually, I do have a perfume that um, is supposed to smell like a library. Ooh. And it, like, kind of does. It sm it's the, the exact scent is it's supposed to be, like, Irish coffee and, like, books in a library. Uh -huh. And, like, like wooden tables and stuff but it just smells like like irish coffee mostly <laughs> and like dust like it just it smells like dusty and i don't really like, really huh it's weird. <laughs> quit enforcing stuff go mine with everybody else Ooh. no they're dancing that's true they're having fun and you could slap them i'm not going no to. <laughs> i'm just saying it's not. always an option i'm a benevolent <laughs> ruler cameron <laughs> Who's trying to corrupt the, you, the, the, the surrounding you farmland? <laughs> I'm making I'm making giant air quotes when I say get it. <laughs> oh yeah, can we can we scroll up for just a second? Yes. I really love the uh, the warlock's little house. Oh yeah, it's that's like a little oh, mushroom no. throne. That's pretty that's cute. So cute. Yeah. I want that to be my house. Oh yeah, it's very important. There's uh, here's the ch chicken. No, that's not it. Where did I put that? Oh yeah, chicken wallpaper. <laughs> yeah. That's where it's at. I have 17 imps. It's a well-oiled machine. <laughs> I thought they you were going to say it's like some well-oiled imps, and I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Werewolf M says, I'm a benevolent dungeon keeper. Wait. <laughs> and Drawn Dragon says, you gotta corrupt the world nicely. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm I, enforcing good working conditions. I'm paying them. Yeah. There is nothing left to research. The speed creature spell has been perfected. Mm, yes. All right. Speedy imps. Where's... Make them run. Make that chicken very fast. Yes. <laughs> Speed up those chickens. Oh my god, look at him go. Oh. It won't work on the chicken. It. Or you can possess a chicken, but you can't make them I know. fall around faster. Oh, oh look at that them. beetle go. Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> they've, they've all got, yeah. like, action trails. Yeah. Yeah. Should be making like bionic man noses or something. <laughs> Did we mine those? I think it. I don't think they'll. Go get those skeletons, please. Yeah, I think if you like pick some imps up and drop You're them right in front of the thing you want them to mine, they'll do they it. They got it. I think. Oh, sweet. They, said, they just said you have tunneled into a new area. Yep. Yes. Nice. Oh, it's a, just another training room. Just no. But I think the check your creature log. Yep, there yeah. they are. Yeah. Oh, buddies. I've pick. I'm picking them up. I'm taking them over to our lair here. You have taken control of a new room. Whoa! Wait! Look! Look! Ah. <laughs> they're so cute. Oh, they sound. They sound just yeah. like skeletons should sound. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And their yeah, house is sweet. just a tile of uh, a tile, a pile of skulls. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> awesome. Oh they just—I mean—they make their own house really when they go to sleep, but they just like sort of collapse. <laughs> down and... Okay, now I can, now we can um, we can mine out all that gold now that they got that those skeletons for us. <laughs> Priorities. Beep. Now would be an excellent time to train a relic. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, because you have to manually train them, right? I think that some of them will go on their own. Like the, like those little lizard guys love it in here. But I yeah. think the warlocks just don't want to unless you make them. Yeah. 
I, to be fair, I agree with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, be made, yeah, by your dungeon overlord. Yeah, like, uh, it's really a pain. <laughs> <laughs> I would also rather read books than exercise. Mm -hmm. Same. I love, I love old dancing, dancing dudes. Yeah, dance it up. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my god. Dance it up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 like, what are uh, they supposed uh, to be doing? Dancing. They're like, <laughs> like oh, they're come on. they reinforce the walls, but I don't understand, like, why that, um... It's a spell. And yeah. dancing is is the part of the casting of it. All right. Or something. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, now that imp is, uh... Oh, I wanted training. him to reinforce this last... Oh, I guess he did it. Okay. Okay, I'll... Oh, he's getting buff. Yeah, I'll let him do that. <laughs> That's <busy>. fine. <laughs> Can you... Can you build? Can you keep building imps? Uh, Kitty mentioned something that something happens if you get up to twenty imps. Oh. Mm. Imp, imp superpower. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know. It just gets more expensive each one you do. There, I have twenty. Yeah. So, so each one now costs like three grand to make or something. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and so, and I think it, you know, either doubles or something after a certain point. So I think like forty is the max around you can hit. Or it could be less, I don't know. I want I can't remember if there's like a cap on how many creatures you can have in your dungeon at once either. Hmm. I don't know. What do we what do we got? These beetles and this, these beetles are being lazy. There. <laughs> yes, my bug friends. Fly. Oh, all right. that, that fly got off easy. Oh wait, I can put him in this other training room down here that we have now. Aww, that's like the punishment training. <laughs> I know. Go all the way down here. Here you go, friend. <laughs> can we like promote that imp who started training? Because like I don't know, he showed a lot of initiative. I think. <laughs> yeah. Where's Where's the treasure room? I could just drop some money on him. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's good to instill like good work habits yeah. in our movies. Kitty <laughs> says uh, there's a cap per level for the number of enemies okay. you can have, and so sometimes you'll want to like cycle them out by throwing them back in the corner right, like, to get different ones. There, I dropped some money on him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Soltron says, I really like this impressively dystopian and oppressive soundtrack. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Along with that, like, weird. oppressive. Weird baby voice in the background of this track sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right there. That one. Is that, is that in the music? Yeah. I thought that was one of your creatures. Yeah, I thought that was those. one of your little. No, little it, it loops in that track. <laughs> it's weird, really. That's just Kelsey. Yeah, <laughs> that's just Kelsey having fun. <laughs> Just let you know what's up. <laughs> yeah, you, you you don't do that. That's not a thing. Or you're playing games, just wow. <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> Video game baby. Oh yeah, I have, a, I have a question for you guys. Mm -hmm. I have a moral dilemma. I've been asking a lot of people this, so okay. I, I oh. need to know people's answers. Um, so what if, if every time um, you like bit into a vegetable, mm -hmm. uh, it like screamed, oh, would no. you rather have it like, would you rather have it scream in agony or like let out like a moan of pleasure? <laughs> like, which one would you rather have? <laughs> Oh no! So, so I, I don't know if you know much about plant studies, but plants really do do this. Oh no! Um, like a synaptic level, yeah, it's a real thing. That's. But they're screaming. Like a... They're not. It's not pleasurable. Okay, <laughs> I figured screaming. that they were probably screaming. Oh. Um, mm, I, I think I want the pleasure. I think I'd. Yeah. That. Yeah. Like I would feel way less guilty. <laughs> but Are like. They... Are they moaning in pleasure because they enjoy it, or is it just like a pain scream that comes out as a moan of pleasure? <laughs> no, it's because it's because they enjoy it. Like they are oh. getting like a lot of gratification from this. Oh yeah, definitely. I just I just feel like that's like 
like I agree with you guys, but my friend who like posed the question to me did not seem to <laughs> favor that option even a little bit. Huh. He was like, he was like, I just can't. I would not be able to deal with it. Like, <laughs> what, what I guess did, it would just be uncomfortable. What would Meats be doing? Meats doing oh, the same thing as I mean, I guess no change. I assume, but this was really just about vegetables. <laughs> I guess because like. You can already make yourself feel bad about eating meat anyway, but like vegetables, it's like, what? What if like you know? <laughs> there was a oh, I'm, just, I'm just thinking about the the general world of the scenario yeah. building here. Yeah. No, my friend. <laughs> I tried to do that with my friend when he asked me this question, and he got really mad, and he was like, "This is not like what I intended." <laughs> <laughs> it's like I guess I didn't put a lot of thought into this question. How dare you take my hypothetical and ask <laughs> more questions about it? My purely fictional scenario. <laughs> How do yeah, you ask me to expand upon that? I mean, ooh, is this ooh. a thing that just starts happening, or has this been? Is this the way the world has That's been? That's what forever? I asked. Him. I was like, I was like, is this how I was raised, or like, is, does this? Do you just wake up one day? And like, <laughs> is this? Like, yeah, it's already normalized, and it, and it moans at you. Like, what? That's. I feel like that's really important information because if I yeah. had grown up, like with either one, I, I probably wouldn't care. It's just like, you know. And then I asked him, I was like, can other people hear the, the sounds that vegetables make or is it just you? Like, is it just like directly in your brain? Because that also like yeah. affects it. Yeah. Because then- Imagine eating like vegetables at work. Like you have to go in a, a quiet room. <laughs> yeah. Because the thing is, if that was the case, if other people could hear, I think I would go for, for screaming and agony because it would have much more like comedic applications, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Otherwise, like dates would be incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> if you're like, oh, well, I'll have the salad, and then you just look your date in the eye <laughs> while you eat it, don't but stop. Everyone would be cool with it. They would know what's up. They would oh, just well, go, yeah. let's just take a minute here while I have this erotic salad. <laughs> get back to whatever we were talking about. Thank you guys for indulging me with this. Because <laughs> I, I tried to ask someone else and they were just like, Arden, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, uh, which I no, don't blame what, them for. <laughs> look, look, what is stream friends, friends for? We ask the hard <laughs> These guys cannot get through my walls. This is great. Yeah. Oh, are there like dudes outside? Yeah, they've, they've mm -hmm. been want they've been, they've literally gone around almost this entire it's perimeter over doing. here. Oh my god. See, yeah, because if you can see like where it gets a second wall, yeah, like the outer wall. Yeah. Sorry if you were about to explain that. No, that's okay. No, I was I was just gonna say if you can see the white dots, that's where they are. Oh, okay. But yeah, that second wall is the that reinforcement. So they're having a hard oh, they're time. Already, they're at the bottom of the map too. Yeah, that? yeah. I wasn't paying attention to those ones though because they're clearly lost. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's digging around. Ooh, I love how the the research spells are floating books. That's awesome. Oh, that's cute. Akatuki says, "I come here for games criticism and important erotic vegetable conversations." <laughs> <laughs> you are in the right place. Oh, now they're coming back around this way. <laughs> I've built an impenetrable <laughs> fortress. <laughs> how's this? How's my fly doing? My one, my lone fly. It's buff as hell. That's what's going Probably on. Probably is. Do you even lift fly? He's yeah, level three. Do you, yeah. you even stand near spinny spike traps fly? <laughs> cool. He knows what's up. All those imps are just sitting around because they don't have anything to do. Hey, you guys could train. You get really buff. Yeah. Uh, Limes A in the chat points, makes an important observation. In this world, surely moans would come to be associated primarily with eating vegetables, so sex would become really weird. That's <laughs> true. I hadn't actually thought about that. But... Yeah, it would. It would like completely recontextualize that sound. Interesting. Do you think that like people would start like? erotically dressing up like vegetables, like just to like, enhance like, the mood. Yes. I love I feel when so you sound confident. like broccoli. 
Oh, oh yeah. Are there different moans? Like that's yeah, a good that's, question. Oh my god. Yeah. Like yeah. different vegetables make different noises. So you could become like a. You could like you could make a particular kind of salad that was like a uh, like a beet salad would be a would be like particular really like symphony. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 really, really like husky moans. <laughs> like a <laughs> like a pack of cigarettes moan. <laughs> <laughs> Start crying. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I mean that makes sense because they're beats. They hang out in yeah, fifties coffee oh. shops a lot, right? It becomes like a whole different. So like, like you know, the new like, are you interested in me? Yes, no note would be like sending someone a you know, whatever, like a romaine lettuce vanilla <laughs> salad, and then like seeing what they add and sending it back to you. Yeah, like a whole like different like teen, thing. teen technologies of salads. <laughs> Like sexting would involve like, <laughs> like someone like someone like cutting up like a bunch of like broccoli for making a stir fry, and they send a picture <laughs> like to someone else like thinking of you, winky face. <laughs> oh my god! No, you just get you just send like an emoji, right? And yeah. the emoji is just like broccoli head. Yeah. It's like, it's like oh, oof. I mean, some Can't of... hang out tonight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of the fruit and vegetable emojis already serve a double purpose. <laughs> yeah, the the peach one is really good. I've been getting a lot mm -hmm. of use out of the, the peach emoji. Yep. It just looks so much like a butt. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna see what's down here. Even though the... You have tunneled into a new area. Did I? Your creatures oh, are no! Oh, no! Oh, they're in the library. Defend your library! <laughs> yeah, everybody screams. Time to bed. Time to sleep. I know they're like snooze. Snooze it up. <laughs> That's my favorite video game genre, the snooze em ups. Mm. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna make that now. That's my <laughs> spreadsheet. <laughs> Alright, do you want me to read you from my game design spreadsheet? Sure. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I actually totally did have a. Hold on, real... one second. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What's up? Oh, this is just. Oh, okay. Your minions are winning a battle. <laughs> is that everybody? Yeah, I, th I think we're okay now. I'll set you guys down, I suppose. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's how Beatles sound. Thank, thanks. Uh oh. Awesome. Oh, my gold is low. Oh no. Yeah. Uh oh. Whoa! I tunneled into the hero place. Oh. Yeah. Get their gold. Oh my god! I'm gonna get all their gold. Take it home. Take their gold. Snatch! Snatch! I wish I could go back in time and make. Uh, I might do this anyway. Just like make a trailer for this game. Uh huh. Like, get, get the gold. Take it home. <laughs> Slap the damn. Do whatever you gotta do. Be evil as hell. <laughs> Pay your minions. Oh my god, there's so much gold over here. Good, because we're running out. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm a good no, dungeon keeper, but a terrible accountant. <laughs> okay, so my current list of like projects I have in the future. Okay. Okay. Number one, Gone Loam. A game where you create loam and help a forest grow. Okay. Number two, number two Hippo Attack. <laughs> and so the second part is the explanation I have written to help me remember what it is. Right. right. So Hippo Attack, you play a, a hippo who fucks up poachers. <laughs> number three, Goddamn Millennial Stole My Chicken. <laughs> Explanation. Farmer has to sneak through urban farm to recollect the chicken. And now snooze him up, which I don't really know what that would mean. <laughs> well, I I had a, a sketch, a, some sketches that never led anywhere, so I'm donating this to you. Okay. You totally have this. Okay. But I had an idea a long time ago for 
a shoot 'em up uh, where you took you played as a guy in a bed. Mm -hmm. He like said so the beginning of each level he gets into bed and he goes to sleep and then he dreams that his bed is flying around uh -huh. and you have to shoot um, and there's like things all the enemies are stuff like bells and like <laughs> cannons and stuff that's gonna make a lot of noise uh -huh. so you have to like keep you have to like send shush waves uh, <laughs> out from the bed like the front of the bed there's like just a giant pair of lips and a, and a like a finger all right. To send shush waves out to to quiet the bells and the cannons and the whatever before they get to your guy and wake him up. Okay, I'm making this <laughs> co-designed by Nick. <laughs> I can help you with coding. I don't code. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, whatever. It's middleware, man. <laughs> I can help you with middleware. I don't know. You want to make the art? You can do the art. Okay. <laughs> you sound so excited about it. Okay. No, I mean we're, I, we're witnessing. You're not uh oh, we're we're right. witnessing. No, get out of there. Get out of there. You can't do the. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, what's happening here exactly? I was having the fly um explore for me, but he found some dwarves, oh. and I don't want him to do that by himself. See, oh. I am a good dungeon keeper. <laughs> <laughs> but he will straight up. That fly will go and do that. Again, one more time. Yeah. That's what's annoying about the flies. But now it's going to take the dwarves a long time to get down here, so. Aw, look at the little dwarves. You're going to be squished on the... <laughs> you guys should just turn around and go home, maybe. This ultra tactical view over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot that the levels got this complex so early. Yeah, I love it. It's yeah, this is like big. Where are you? Oh, well, let's see if the fly can do it. I oh, guess. Buddy. No, he's not going to. I'm he cannot. Gonna, I'm I, sorry. I picked him up. Go take a Pull nap. Out. <laughs> I pulled Pull him out. Move out, soldier. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is like when the workshop kicks in. So the mm. workshop, which will get, I think the next level allows you to build, what, traps yes. and doors? Yes. And so yeah, so you can like build a small room with a door and then lock the door and then put the fly in it to mm -hmm. keep it from running around. Yeah. And I guess feed it chickens every now and again. <laughs> I, could ha I could make him his own little tiny dungeon. <laughs> like his own suite. What about, what about trap doors? Yes, that is one, I think. Mm -hmm. There's also secret doors. Um, mm -hmm. This game is awesome. Wait, we don't we don't even have to watch that. We can just let them do their thing. There is nothing left to research. Oops, I didn't mean to put the fly in the library. Whatever, he can just go. The first wave of attackers lie hacked to pieces on the floor and give your domain that lived-in feeling, but it surely won't be long before their kin launch another assault. Yeah, let's just smear these guts everywhere. Yeah, it looks good. Them around. Yeah. yeah. As your dungeon decorator, <laughs> I suggest that you apply uh, entrails in this corner, and then you want to <laughs> make sure to balance out the feng shui of the room. Maybe some brains over here. Mm. You paid it. <laughs> Payday! Everyone like, oh, is there? I need to find some more gold. Shit. Everyone, stop training. You're costing me money. Oh no. <laughs> That's it's funny every time you drop it. <laughs> Go do something else. I'm just having a good time. Oh, they're really fast now because they've been training. <laughs> Oh, you lost an imp somewhere. Oh, no, you didn't. No, it's just because, it yeah, I was holding him. Yippee! 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 Buff. Buff imps. They're so buff right now. I think that they can only go up to level four. That'll save me some money. Hurry up and attack so that we can go to the next level. 
Uh, so we're just waiting on the the Lord next wave of, the... of attackers. Yeah, the Lord of the Realm. Lord of the Realm. That's a good old DOS game too. Oh yeah. Lord of the Realm. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, um, it's a hey, so well, Lord Lords. Uh, With a Z. Uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Lords. <clears throat> it's about managing a uh, uh, rock band in the nineties. <laughs> no, oh, cool. no, 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 no. That's not true. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's kind of a like Beware night management the simulator. He's sort of here. Thing. We shall not tolerate oh, cool. evil presence any longer. Your creatures are under attack. Oh, buddy. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All the skeleton boys. That's right, shoot those fireballs. Shit, those skeletons are level 9. <laughs> yeah, they're having fun. I think skeletons Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> we did it! Conquered this realm. Yes. Yes. You meet, with <laughs> you meet with success yet again, Keeper. All those corpses will keep your hatchery's topsoil fertile. They also serve as warnings to other foolhardy adventurers, of course. I like that you were tickling that dying guy. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> just hold your, Tickle him again. Give him a little, oh yeah! Give him a little tickle. Oh, look at that nice. rating. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, I went over his... Damn it. I went over his outro. We'll never okay. know. I'll live. I forgot that he says something after. Okay. He'll say something here. Flower hat. Flower hat. Polite bartering has led to extreme compassion and a surfeit of contentment in this area. Not even a thick-skinned troll could survive the understanding and help these scummy people can provide. <laughs> Great. Let's I wonder if this is like hat. this is Peter Molyneux's internal monologue all the time. <laughs> so it's like he's like walking around Britain and he's like, London, these people with their stupid smiles <laughs> and public transportation. Build up your dungeon with the rooms available to you and claim the portal nearby, but do not yet venture north. Powerful adversaries uh -oh. lurk, lurk there. It would be wiser not to disturb them until you're prepared. Why, thanks for the tip. Okay. Alright, let's build some stuff before they start yelling What's at me little, that we need stuff. What's the little strobe light room on the map there? That is the portal that will bring oh, okay. people into our, our dungeon. How, how do you make it stop strobing? I'll, um, I'll claim it and it'll stop. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it flashes just so you can see, like, Hey! Come get me! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Hello! Yeah. Ooh, gems! Gems, gems, gems! Yes. You can mine these forever, and they'll never stop giving you money. <laughs> yeah, and if you right, you, they can be mined on all sides too, right? So if you uncover the, I believe so. I think yeah. Yeah, we'll make this the treasure room because that makes sense, right? <laughs> Why not? Has been claimed. Kitty's dropping like a boatload of secrets on us. <laughs> North, there's a river of lava. If you build a bridge straight east and west, there are locked rooms with secret items in them. Ooh. Yeah, I think there may be workshop items. I think I remember these two. Kitty, how many times have you played this? Or like, did you just play it? I, I want to know if this well, is burned said, into your brain or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, earlier she said once a year at least. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. I missed that. Okay, if you go north, we won't do that yet. East and west locked rooms. Okay. <laughs> she says, Kitty says, I don't, I don't want to talk about, about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, some gold's up here. All right, let's let's just. Okay, treasure. I used to play Final Fantasy VI once a year. I think I remember oh, yeah. you telling me that. 
at some point. Like, I, do we? Does everybody have a game like that that they revisit every year? No, I, I, I don't anymore. I just replay Dragon Age all the time. Nice. Like, <laughs> I'm like just the thing is like I'm always in a perpetual state of replaying at least one of the Dragon Age games at any given time. Like it has been this way since Origins came out. Mm -hmm. Like it's ridiculous. No, I don't do that. I think Tim Roth <laughs> played Super Mario Brothers 3 every year on his birthday until he could beat it with no deaths. Wow. And then he stopped playing it forever. <laughs> and that was like his 30th birthday. It's, you know, he's just a, a superhuman. I played that way. Yeah, I guess, I guess if you count... You I, I didn't even think about that because I'm kind of always playing the Mario games. <laughs> Mm, let's not do that yet. Let's do this. Um, oh, wait, no. Can't Proper job in chat said, I played Sid Meier's Pirates once a year. Oh, I love that game. I just bought that <laughs> recently. I really love that game. Here's a question for you, then. Is Pirates the one that, like, you're doing all the... Like, you do every part of pirating, so you're trading, and you're, like, doing some combat occasionally? Is that yeah. that mm -hmm. pirate game? Okay. And then the remake, yeah. you do ballroom dancing. No, oh, that was cool. the original, too. Oh, really? I think? Oh wait, unless, unless I'm, mm, hold on. Yeah, hold oh, on. I should save, I need to that, save more. I... Oh, nope, you are right. Game I did saved. not know that there was a version that was like, made in the 80s. Oh! I am only familiar with the one that came out in like... The 2004, I think? 1990. Yeah? Oh yeah, I didn't Ish. even know there was a remake that, at that time. Yeah, because like the the, um, the remake is like fully 3D, and it, it was on the original Xbox also. Yeah, yeah, it's just oh, wow. Um, yeah, that was the that was the one that I played. It was great. Yeah, and you got to do ballroom dancing, and it was great because I got to have a million girlfriends, and <laughs> somehow I still didn't know that I I liked women. <laughs> <laughs> you're playing it, and like, you're like, I just love dancing. Dancing yeah, is great. Was like, I was like, I just love these quick time dance events. And also, like sword fighting other dudes to win this lady's love. What are you? I'm not gay though. <laughs> I play the Lucas Arts Adventures over again a lot. I'm really glad that now I have something that I can use to reliably replay Grim Fandango every year. Because mm. um, I am going to be doing that. I'm super excited to play that for the first time, because I that was so that was one I never got to play as a kid. So, it's so yeah, when when yeah. they announced that one, I was like, yes, twelve year old Kelsey is so happy right now. <laughs> it's the best. Yeah, it's despite just... being someone who makes adventure games, I've never played most of those. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 real good. I mean, I know that I'm. Like, I, I mentioned this to Kelsey on stream once, but, like, Grim was how I met my husband. And, um, mm -hmm. like, I have a tattoo and stuff, and we're just- we played, like, parts of the soundtrack at our wedding and Aww. stuff like- Yeah, it was- it's all cute. And, the uh, so when they announced the remake at E3, I started crying. I was oh, like, oh, I'm so happy! Like, we get to play <laughs> together! Like, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, so it was cute. But, yeah, I'm just very- excited that more people get to play it now because it's so good and like just really cool it's really clever writing still mm -hmm. can, yeah. can we can we get your husband on stream yeah would would he would he be interested in streaming oh absolutely actually we were thinking about doing um cause <laughs> we wanted to do oh my god we we're <laughs> like what back when i was really like more like streaming more frequently, I was like, we should do a thing, you and me, where we play adventure games together, and we were gonna call it Inventory Management. <laughs> oh, that is so cute! <laughs> 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 so now, now I feel now. Okay, now that I've heard Kelsey's reaction, I feel like I might have to do oh it my anyway. God. <laughs> like I teared up instantly. <laughs> oh my God! No, don't cry. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Now I'm all cuted out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you should definitely do that, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanna, I wanna try to get Ben on here, but Australian internet is very touchy. Oh, well, yeah. 
Mm. And like time zones and stuff. That's not so much of a problem because he doesn't really sleep a lot. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but the I when I was talking to friends of mine in Australia, it was always like a fucking nightmare. It's like, <laughs> oh, it's six a.m. for me, and I'm about to go to work. Uh -huh. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Um, plus he sets his own schedule because of his job, so... Um, oh, Crackbox says, you broke Kelsey! <laughs> Arden, I'm genuinely really jealous that I hadn't thought of that <laughs> first and, and had a series of me and Matt playing adventure games. God, it's so... Like it's too it perfect. Like, we could just repurpose it to be like an all-purpose like married couples playing adventure games to stream. Like, it's all good. I don't know. It's so good. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't. I like. I don't. I don't deserve to even share it. Like it's just too. <laughs> it's for everybody. The only thing I don't like about this one is the um, the the narrator guy is very bossy. Like, <laughs> like I'm in the middle oh, of building yeah. the hatchery. It's not done yet. Give me like two minutes. And it'll be fine. <laughs> Just have time. <sighs> um. But yeah, maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll try to get Ben on someday. Yeah, that'd be fun. We bonded over full throttle, and he's oh. he, and, he's got. And someone sent me the full throttle disc today. Oh my god! Nice. Have you have you played yeah. it before? No. Oh my god! This is it's the best LucasArts adventure game in my opinion. <laughs> um. Ben, we, ben that was our first. It me was and Kelsey's first stream. It was stream friends, and we were just talking about doing it again. Yeah, <laughs> because Twitch. Just because. Well, Twitch ate the last part of it, and I'm like, "Do you want to finish oh, yeah. it?" And Nick was like, "Why don't we just play the whole thing over again?" I was like, "All right," because yeah. it's only three hours, so like you could conceivably oh, okay. do it in like one session. Mm -hmm. But um, Ben actually got me the the big box, the horizontal box. Which is pretty cool. Oh wow! Um, and he got what me the Gone Jackal CD also. F two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Blazing Arrows. It isn't Dungeon Keeper too good as well. It is, and I definitely want to um, play that one on stream also. Yeah, last time I tried to play, I tried to play them both at the same time, mm -hmm. and I had really good luck with Dungeon Keeper one. It was pretty stable, but mm -hmm. two, I had a really really hard time getting it running. Consistently, really, yeah. Do you have uh, and like any kind of like tabbing in and out would just break it in half? Oh, that's no good, um, especially for streaming. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Do you have Windows 7 or Windows 8? Uh, I was doing that on 7. Oh, damn, <laughs> yeah, because I got 7 because I knew that like 8 is really finicky with um. <laughs> Yeah, apparently I've heard that 8.1 fixes a lot of those issues and makes a lot of games more easier to play oh. and more stable. But I don't know if that's true or not. But that was word on the street. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> Chris has Windows 8 and seems to be miserable about it all the time, so mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it just, he never sounds like he's having a good time. And yeah, I just feel yeah so 8 like, universally was reviled for that, but 8.1, I think, made some efforts. I don't know. Nine's gonna be out, and it's gonna run on the inside of my eyelids, and I'll be able to play every game ever made. So they're skipping you know. right to ten. Do you have nine on your eyelids oh, right yeah, now? Oh yeah, that's right. Is that a secret? No. Nine lids—that's what we call them. <laughs> <laughs> it went. We went straight from glass holes to nine lids, <laughs> almost instantly. Can I do this? Apparently, yeah. the uh, the GOG version has fixed the Windows compatibility issues. Oh, oh cool, excellent. Yeah, it's been a while since I've tried. Nice. I would say more than a year, maybe even two years, so. Oh, wow, two looks a lot different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like zoomed out a little bit more and all the models are a little bit more high poly and... Yeah. Everything's a little bit more like Tim Burton-y almost. Like stretched out looking and yeah, I can see that. I I just went to go Google this and I just fucking typed in Dragon Age Two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like mm, nope, like that. 
not this time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish that this weekend. That's my plan right now. Also, uh, if oh good, Dragon Age two. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Because I don't have anything. Uh, also, to just do. <laughs> heads up for anyone who Google's Dungeon Keeper two. Do not Google this at work. Like <laughs> for image searching. Oh, okay. there are a lot of the mistresses. There are a lot of ladies in in leather clothes or not clothes, <laughs> rather. I guess. Yeah. This track is weird. <laughs> this is like... Okay, parts of the soundtrack are genuinely reminding me of the Pathologic soundtrack. Yeah? Yeah, because Pathologic is also like... weird industrial nonsense. Uh-huh. Um, but I, I actually like the Pathologic soundtrack a lot, but it's definitely like... Okay, this <laughs> sure is something that I'm hearing. But yeah, parts of it's really bad. Yeah, I wonder how much of like all that is like the influence of uh, like Quake, mm. right? Like oh, being attached yeah. to the industrial music stuff. Because oh. the the Mark Morgan score for Fallout One is a lot like this. Yeah, like it's a lot of there'll there'll be like moments where there's just a siren in the distance for no discernible reason. Like, yep. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's an amazing score, but you're just like it's the same as this thing. We're just like, well, I yeah. guess that's uh, you know, I don't know, uh, a car screaming. <laughs> or something. Do, do cars scream when you bite into them? <laughs> <laughs> well, not in this hypothetical. In, in some parallel <laughs> universe. Oh. Got too much money. I'll stop mining those gems for a bit. <laughs> I love that when you run out of treasure room and you're still mining, it just piles up at their feet. <laughs> Yeah. Which is like a big money pile. I have so much treasure. Yes. Oh, oh those decorative swords. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to build yes, another yes. training room later, but this is alright. Um, now I need a like a secluded area for my... This is good. For your library? Yeah. Mm. Thank you for finishing that sentence because I trailed off in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think next we get the workshop, right? Yes. Cool. And then we can build traps. Yeah, you get some trolls. We'll come yes. hang out. They're nice people. They are, well, they're very or sweet. Trolls. <laughs> I know the treasure are the trolls home. the ones that had the nipple rings in the opening cuts? Uh huh. Yeah, okay. they build them themselves. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> no, they're experts at nipple rings. <laughs> That's like their only function in the game, actually, is just to yeah. buy, uh, to make nipple rings for other units. <laughs> I mean, everybody needs them. They are yeah. a commodity. Yeah, it was a weird game. <laughs> Look, Peter, Mal Peter Molyneux's got his thing, and I don't question it. He's a genius. <laughs> the man's a genius. The man's yeah. a genius. Don't oh, this is not it. what I... Oh, shit. This is not where I wanted the library at all. <laughs> oh, listen to that noise. <laughs> I'll build the workshop nipple here. Nipple rings hurt. Yeah? Yeah, nipple rings hurt a lot. Yeah, I believe that. Just thinking like, about absolutely. getting one done makes my whole body cringe, so I believe yeah. that. Yeah, it makes, yeah, they have, like phantom nip pains. Yep. <laughs> but if they're handmade by a troll. Artisanal nipple rings. <laughs> yeah, it's like totally fine. They got that big hammer. They know what they're doing. I'll, uh, I'll spare you, you folks, my nipple ring story, but... No, by all means, let's go. Piercing. Here we go. <laughs> Going down this rabbit hole. Yeah, you can't, I, like, start the story and then be like, no. Nah. Well, Going down <laughs> the nipple hole. Here we go. <laughs> if, it, if it gets too bad, we'll, we'll tap out, but go ahead. <laughs> I, I yelled, like, really loud. Uh, I'll just... That, that's it. That's the story. <laughs> I, okay, okay, no. I yelled and I jumped. Uh, <gasps> and it made the guy. It it made the uh, the piercer uh, slip a little bit oh, with the needle no. and poked oh. me in the chest. No. 
Uh, it was okay, like it was just so, like a real surface level scratch. Uh huh. But then, uh, uh, <laughs> I was super embarrassed about it, and then he made it worse by by like. I, I guess he was trying to be funny, you know, and like try to take the sting out of it or whatever, like smooth everything over the, with humor. But he, uh, he was like, "Ah, oh, it's fine. You can't even know. You can't even notice that little scratch here. We'll just comb it over a little bit." And he like combed my chest hair <laughs> over there. <laughs> oh my Aww. god, that's like oddly endearing, like in the worst <laughs> kind of way, right? Yeah. But, we have some trolls uh, now. Yay! I love I love when the trolls get really big, like level ten, because their hammer is huge. A new room has been Where did that go? Um, a troll has joined oh, you. Yeah. Skilled in the craft of manufacturing, trolls are best employed doing dark deeds in your workshop. They don't complain about the hours because their labors keep them away from combat. <laughs> and now we can build a bridge. Uh, Soltron says a friend um, had. Uh, a friend had. Sorry, I'm losing it here. It's okay. <laughs> uh, a friend said um, the first one doesn't hurt because you have the adrenaline high. I that's not what my experience was. <laughs> <laughs> I had planned to get both of them. I only walked out of there with one. Oh, you're too, no. You're too calm. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You were too chill about it. You had to be like all hype about it all day. You have to be just so much fear. A new spell is <laughs> Yeah, there's very few things in life where people are like, it'll be fine if you're deathly afraid of it beforehand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it'll be great. It'll be a great experience if you're going to have a panic attack beforehand. Yeah, it'll be, it'll, it'll, it'll work out just fine. Don't worry about it. I like these machines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, also, what is that even? <laughs> it's like I a thought, bouncy pump. I thought they were like little dancing pigs, but I just full screen and that's not what they are. So, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Could be. <laughs> Andy, uh, Andy Claire joined the chat and says, A troll has joined you. I mean, yeah, I'm here now, but you don't, have, don't need to be rude. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so now Actually, I'm just... I don't even need this. I know. <laughs> Get off my ass, dude. <laughs> Give me a break. I'll just, like, expand this way. Are you making that treasure hole yet? <laughs> <laughs> A new spell well, has been just... researched. Excuse me, dude. Buddy. <laughs> oh, but, like, this is a good spell. What is it? Call to arms. You put a flag up, and that makes everybody go to that place. Oh, and you got doors now. Yes. It's the best. Doors are awesome. Aren't there like magic doors? There are. We just have a wooden one right now, though. Yeah, it's like wood, maybe like stone, and then magic. Yeah. Let's. let's I remember the magic one's like a big portal-looking thing. Let's slap a door on the treasure room. Boom. Slap that door down. <laughs> yeah. And you can what? You right-click it to lock it, maybe? E yeah. Yep. Locked. Yeah. No one can get into here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now the worst <laughs> boss. <laughs> Just locking them in the room with with treasure, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Not like, I mean, they don't really need like food or anything. Yeah. Big treasure. I'm building it. Settle down. <laughs> like, where's the gold even coming from? I don't. I thought I was done. Oh, maybe it's I think just. Still, you're like, never collecting. done. Yeah, it's like on the ground. Oh. Seriously, I took out the garbage because you said you were going <laughs> to the treasure hole. <laughs> And here I am, no garbage, no treasure hole. <laughs> I feel like you don't even respect me as a person. <laughs> we really need to work on our communication skills. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going no oh wait, actually no, not yet. I know, I was like, you're you're really going for it. I wanna see I just wanna get to the lava. See what we can see here. I don't know why this is really funny to me, but Foban in the chat just says, I use doors all the time. <laughs> Big fan! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the lava. No. Oh, here's the lava. Wolf. What's up, bud? Hey, buddy. 
Oh yeah. Lava. I'm into it. A trap has been manufactured. Ooh. A new spell has been preserved. Everybody's very busy. <laughs> oh yeah, you got heal now. That's pretty cool. Poison gas trap. Your creatures are ah! Attack. It is Wait, a, a lot is happening right now. <gasps> Oops. Yeah, I think because they can see them over the lava, so if they get toward the end of that lava, they'll like shoot at them or something. Oh, okay. Cause... Oh yeah, yeah. Kitty said there's archers straight across. Oh, okay. Let's um. Oh yeah, and you can use because the demon spawn I think are fireproof, right? Yeah. Do I have any? I think. I don't know. I have five of them. I have ten. Kitty beetles. says you can kill them if you possess a demon spawn. Mm, okay. Or you can probably just drop five at the end of that little thing and then watch them go. Yeah, I'll try that one. Cue all of them dying. <laughs> I... Let's see. Nope, they're oh, no. they're just ignoring me. Home. I'll just uh, what level are they? Oh, there's a there's a four. Let me grab him. Oops. Nope. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Grunt. I don't want grunt, that. Grunt, one. Grunt. Yes, this is a good one. Possess. I'm gonna get you. Oop. What? Oh yeah. Yes. So, yeah, uh, I think you hit I'm two, like, right? You uh, just like. I might shoots not... a crap into the dude. Yeah, I might not be able to do this though. This is very disorienting. Whoa, that name is cool. V Melior. <laughs> it's hard to be a, a in this mode if uh, I can't do it. Like I'm sorry. Were... I, uh -uh. <laughs> it's yeah. too. Uh, it's too. Funky. There. We'll just build a bridge over there. And that'll be bad. Oh, yeah, because they got the end of this thing. Wait, there's a hatchery, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was. Oh, it just, uh, Kitty said that one was starving. Oh. That... Oh, no. Oh, he's just not eating appropriately. Yeah. It's his fault. Yeah, I have, I have a whole yeah. big chicken farm over there. All right. I uh, I would really love if um, when you possessed creatures and you walked around and they saw like their fellow creatures, they'd be all like, "Hey, Veem." <laughs> hey, Bill. Get them. <laughs> another day, another gold. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Are winning a battle. Someone needs to make that like oh. fan video where it's like, oh, here we go, we're getting dropped again. <laughs> and they're like packing up lunch or whatever and they just start screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my warlocks are done, so they can train up now. Because there's no more spells to research. I, get buff. I love their. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, poison gas trap. Let's do this. Let's get smelly. You only had the one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Bam. <laughs> uh, you guys should. I, f I can't remember. That'll probably burn up, actually. No, I don't know. <laughs> do they burn up? Is that a thing? The wooden one. I, I don't know. Because in the second one, yeah. if you build wooden over lava, it burns up. But I don't remember if it's a thing in this one. Yeah, I don't remember either. Foben says, this is what happens with us mods before every stream. Grabbed by a giant hand dropped into chat. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys just not know what to do? What are you doing, imps? They're just hanging out. Fun time. Huh. Oh, okay. Kitty says there's only wood bridges in Dungeon Keeper 1 and they don't burn. Sweet. Yippee! <laughs> so cute! Cool. Um, We're gonna smash the store? I'm gonna wait until I have 
some more trained up people. Mm. How long are we All these beetles are level yeah. one. What have they been doing? Oh, sleeping. Lazy. Being cool. Oh. Kitty says, build bridges straight east and west. Okay. Something to do while everybody's training. I love the idea of a buff beetle. <laughs> Me too. Just like a real strong, like, muscles bulging out of its shell. Like really thick stick legs. Oh, from the bridge I already have, not here. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll, co I'll go that way later. <laughs> also, I should probably uh, go at some point soon ish, because I just realized my husband was waiting for me to make dinner. Oh no! No, I didn't know either. I was like, oh no! Uh, I'm Maybe probably no. just gonna finish this level and then stop for the okay. night. Yeah. But if you need to make dinner, then you should. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, as long as he won't starve. <laughs> He'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Arden's husband is looking right now, like listening to the chat, and just one single cheer rolls down. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be crying. He has an empty bowl. <laughs> and a no. spoon. No. The sad Charlie Brown music plays. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh wait, that's Christmas time is here. Is that the same thing? I think it's so. It's their bad. I feel like they're both kind of sad sounding. Ooh. Yeah. Secret. Oh yeah, I gotta take that, that thing back to the treasure room, I think, right? Uh, or it's a spell, maybe? Something ooh, like increased level. Yes. Your creatures have been blessed with experience. Yeah. Ooh. Got that one. Now let's go this way and find something. Buff as hell. <laughs> oh, Kitty says keep going east. There's another secret. Okay. A trap has been manufactured. Sorry, I'm I'm distracted by Twitter. It's okay. That's how it goes. What's going uh, on? Well, it was okay. It looks like uh, um, Voodoo person. I think his name oh, is Joel. Joel. Yeah, Joel. Yeah. yeah. He tweeted a link to a Rick, Richard Dawkins tweet from all, almost a year ago or <laughs> oh, over a God. year ago. Yeah. And then Andy. Andy Claire actually just re retweeted it. Mm. Uh, Darling, let us ween a type of mixture of us two. Offer up your genotype and shuffle our codes anew. Let me extend my phenotype deep inside of you. Oh god. I want to no, die no, every no. time I read that. <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> That's not real. No. It's <laughs> It's from his official. It's, it's real and it's nope. awful. That's Richard Dawkins. There's a little blue check mark. Wow. <laughs> That's. I love that. Cameron, hey, how can you how can you accept that Richard Dawkins tweeted about like seeing like dogs 69ing, but you can't accept this? <laughs> like, I don't accept any of it. I don't know why you're assuming that. <laughs> As if I'm on board with the very premise of Richard Dawkins. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, it, like, Dick Dorkins is not a person who exists. He's not. He's a fantasy. Of the internet. And, Andy in the chat just says in all caps, he rhymed a type with type three times. <laughs> oh god, it's like Killer Mike in Run the Jewels 2 uh, rhymes feet with feet, I think, three times. <laughs> no! Oh, it just destroys me. I will ignore Richard Dawkins all I want. <laughs> yeah, that's like the best course of action. 
life, no matter how much he has done a good thing. Hmm. Was there no little thingy on the side? Nope. Hmm. It's okay. Weird. But yeah, someone, uh, someone on Twitter, um, Maybe. I was talking earlier about the full throttle stuff. Yes. So someone tweeted, um, that they were just giving away a big box of PC games. Uh-huh. Like in Southern California, and I, you know, I like tweeted and I was like, look, if you'll just ship it to me, mm -hmm. you know, I'll pay, you know, I'll pay whatever shipping if you're just giving it away. Mm -hmm. And so I finally got it today and it was seriously like 30 pounds of PC games. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh man. Yeah. So it's all kinds of stuff. Um, that I've never really played with before. That's exciting. So it's so exciting. Yeah. And a lot of them are like pre DVD. Uh -huh. And so it's like discs one through seven. <laughs> <laughs> And like so, like one play disc and then seven install. Discs. Oh God, good luck. One of them is a uh, Final Fantasy VIII, like Ooh. the original little thing, which is this beautiful like tall sleeve case thing. Mm -hmm. It's not a hard case. Um, oh, that's what the yeah. one for seven was like too. I think. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't know. Well, but, uh, not I. So I spent the whole ever. afternoon just like going through them. Nice. nice. That's okay, Kitty. No worries. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. That uh, that is off banana clipper from the first one. It is my bad. What? <laughs> Talking about Killer Mike. <laughs> wheels within wheels within wheels. How's my minions? You need a bigger training. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. Chill. Oh. That's fine. Let's get some more. Hmm, where's that? Hmm. Oh. Because the dungeon heart is the most important thing. What were the other? What are the other traps? <sighs> you remember? I know there's a spike one. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's a a door that's not a door. Um, Is it a window? No. Hey -o. I think it squishes you instead. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Alright, let's, let's try. A door has been manufactured. Bless <laughs> you. Punch the door. Oh. I <laughs> remember the wizard screams. I know, it's the best. I. <laughs> Andy just retweeted the Don't dog sixty nine tweet. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Uh, and uh, like I'm not gonna read. I'm not gonna read Dicky Dawkins' tweet. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. But basically, he says, "Yeah, I saw this happen once." And the first reply is, "Have you got a link?" <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> of course it is. What a cool <laughs> world we live in. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Vorble Femme in the chat says memes the DNA of the soul. <laughs> I kind of wish that someone, like, instead of, like, got a link, had phrased it like, proof? Question mark, yeah. question mark. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna back this up? Yeah. Prove it. If you saw a dog 69, you better prove it right now. <laughs> I don't even believe that's possible. Oh, I never thought I'd ever say those words. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever heard you say those words, and here we are. <laughs> yep. 2015. In the land of the free. <laughs> this Talk is, well, this is what, what happens. It's what happens, what happens when you're a guest on Stream Friends. You never know where the Stream often, Friends is going to go. <laughs> it's the product of unfettered capitalism and the beauty of the free market. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? No, 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 no. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your minions are winning a battle. Oh, what are you? <laughs> Kitty in the chat just says, Do you have proof that dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Your minions are winning a battle. Hmm. 
Your creatures are under attack. Where? Oh, I see them. Quit running away. They're like right around the corner. If you could smell books, you could smell people. <laughs> Your minions are winning a battle. Your minions are winning a battle. Your minions are winning a battle. Yeah, I got Your that. Your are attacking the enemy. <laughs> so you know. Your minions are winning a battle. <laughs> Poof. I love how much blood there is. I know. It's just like, ah! Tickle the gold. <laughs> Tickle it up, yes. I'm gonna drop it on this end. Oh my god. Uh, tickle the imp. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could, like... I wish you could pet them instead of smacking them. I know, mm -hmm. like black and white. Yeah, exactly. I want to play black and white also on stream. Oh, yeah. I never Let's played go. that at all. I'd love to play it, or see it at least. Yeah, I would, um... I hope that I can get it working, but that's gonna be one of my projects. Ooh, a secret! Ooh, yes. And another secret! Steel Hero? Yeah, Steel Hero is cool. Yeah. Because you just get like a rando dwarf. And mm -hmm. if I think that they have their own like little house too, like a unique, you know, they don't just use a random right, yeah. house type. Oh, little dances. I know. They're so cute. Shimmying. <laughs> Yes, get that. I wish everything worked like this. <laughs> I know, me too. I can just be like, oh, I like your sofa, let me dance. <laughs> and now it's mine. Ooh, it's mine now. I own it. What do you think? You think they're like singing a little song to themselves while they're dancing? I hope so. I really hope so. I think it probably goes like this. <laughs> Oh, I immediately thought it was like Stevie Wonder. That's what I would like. Some really just like joyful, awesome jams. <clears throat> but you know. Yes, that's your mean, thing too. Your, your thing's good too. Has been manufactured. <laughs> it's like the most dismissive thing you can say about someone's contribution. Oh yeah, your thing's good too though, right? I mean, you know, it could go. Either one is good. No, no, come back. Get the get this other door. What are you doing? Thank you. Grunting. <laughs> Aggressively grunting. Oh, look at all this land that's all ours now. We're the best dungeon keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all the Oh, are they mining? Actually, Stevie Wonder totally works. <laughs> Very superstitious. Dancing near the wall. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much treasure. Yeah, claim all this stuff. And then I'm sure once we claim all this stuff, the hero will be like, hey, that was mine. And then he'll come out and try to, to get us. What's over here? Oh wait, this is just connected to... Oh yeah, out there on the side, I guess? Yeah, maybe? Um, oh wait, maybe not. Hmm. I guess we'll find out if, it, if the imp runs into something bad. Yeah, because yeah, I think like the final part of the level is like all the way to your left. Okay. Like to the northwest of the map. Okay. Like through that gold vein. Mm. Oh, look at the- yeah, this is- this isn't suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> nothing no. behind here! You need a no, bigger nothing. treasure hole. I know the treasure room is full. I'm just gonna make all the hallways treasure rooms, then they won't care. <laughs> I love that you have like 12 beetles 
And at every opportunity, you're making these demon spawn do the work. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, no, no, no. no. They're way they better. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, beetle time. <laughs> yeah. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Okay, good. Yes, beetles. Your minions are winning a battle. Your Immediately shooting a fireballs. Just instantly screaming. Goodbye. Uh, trolls. Minions are winning a battle. Way, way, way. Awesome. Cool. In the uh, warlock biz meetings, instead of hit the ground running, the phrase is hit the ground shooting fireballs. <laughs> Don't forget screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Punch the old. <laughs> this is a lot of health. Yeah. Sounds pretty squishy. It is. I like that. Yeah, it does sound squishy. It sounds weirdly rhythmic. It is a heart. The dungeon man. <laughs> They're all like, <laughs> is this the sound of all your demons just ham boning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting smaller, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Akatuki says, if you close your eyes, this game is about listening to Warlocks, Trolls, and Beetles dropping fat beats. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yes. With the enemy dungeon heart and ruins, you have trounced the once proud opposition. Rule your new domain with Lark. terror and loathing for a you laugh. Into a new area. Can we find out what's behind Some that gold man? Yeah. There's, right, there's that little the room ass. at the very top of yeah. the map over here. It's a secret! Oh, it's just, Ooh, it's a spiders. spider! Okay, we're gonna go get those. Because I think if I get them now, I can transfer them over to the next level? Maybe? Yeah, because you can save. Eventually, you get the ability to save um, creatures, mm -hmm. right? Like a couple. Oh, they're mine now. Look at how cute. <laughs> the little pinchers. Oh, transfer oh, yeah. creature. So yeah, that yeah. spider. So be it. Okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if that's what you really want. If, you, if you're gonna Fine. be that but you really need to do the dishes next to <laughs> There's a burning I spun the troll wheel and we both agreed. <laughs> Truly, you've achieved a significant improvement in the area. Even the poisonous smoke smells sweet. Okay. I like how one of the statistics is hopes dash lies told. Uh, what other funny ones are there? <laughs> yeah. I was wondering about that. Slaps, cave -ins, flies eaten by spiders, backstabbed. Hope stash promises broken. Chickens wasted. <laughs> oh. Oh yes. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll just listen to the thing for the next one, and then we'll say, go in there, save it. Meadow on down. The bloody axes of war and famine have so far bypassed this quiet backwater. Leaving the inhabitants totally unaware of the purpose of real agony and loss. Unbearably, most die of old age. Mmm, can't have that. Unbearably. <laughs> <laughs> Manual saving. Like, I, I, I guess until. Oh, a spider has joined your dungeon. They are natural enemies of flies, so endeavor to keep them apart. Overcoming such obstacles will, t will temper your metal, whatever that means. You need to build a lair for your creatures. Okay. Yeah, when a you, like when a modern game you, doesn't auto save, it really messes me up. Uh -huh. I, the other day I was playing game The saved. Witcher Two, mm -hmm. which does not auto save very often, and so I died and lost like a full hour and a half of playing. No, yeah. oh my god! Like an Xbox 360 game. Yeah, it was pretty rough. The uh, the Grim Fandango remake for some reason did not add in auto saves. 
So there's just no auto saving at all. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, I found so that out the hard way. No. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's not that's not great. I wish they would have added in. Yeah. Uh, that. It's but, oh well. it's interesting though, like how we used to say like be conditioned to save all the time, and now we're yeah. not. Still, like, I still like save scum all the time just because of playing Viara games. Yeah. So I'm like, I have to save before I talk to every single person. <laughs> That's true. <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah, on my Morrowind so. streams, I've been sa save scumming ridiculously. Like, I'll save right yeah, before I pickpocket. <laughs> if I fuck yeah, it up. Yeah, I do that too. Yeah, like, Chris always laughs at me because he's like, what are you, like, he's like, you have like 200 save files. Like, I hit the save <laughs> limit in Inquisition. Because <laughs> um, apparently there is a limit in Inquisition for how many saves you can have at one time. And I was like, uh, whoops. Aw, oh, Kitty says, this has been a blast. Thanks for letting me yammer about this game. I'll let you know next time we play. Maybe I could have you on, even. It'd be fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Have, have helpful stuff. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us, Blah. everybody. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for, uh, oh. thanks for letting me come for this game. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, again. Uh, we can... Did you see what I mean about the bell bottom armor? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm with you. <laughs> um... I love that at the end of this, there are bats, but there are no bats in any other part of the rest of the game. I know. <laughs> like, like, not a single bat. <sighs> they were like, ah, oh, fuck, what's scary? Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe bats? bats? I don't know. <laughs> Have bats fly at them. Hmm. Uh, we got this game full of, like, giant horn demons and, like, farting monsters and warlocks. Nah, just do bats. Just <laughs> have bats fly at them. Totally going to work. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, thank you for joining us, everyone. This has been fun. I'm Kelsey. You can find me on the internet at kelseyr713.rocks and at nerdybutflirty.com. And I was joined by Arden. Hi. Uh, thank you for having me. This was fun. Absolutely. Um, I'm on the internet at uh, Twitter. My Twitter name is Spratella. Um, I'm making a game called Date or Die, and the website is dateordiegame.com. And, yep. And Nick? Hello, my name is Nick. You can find a hover temporary page at nickscrat.ch. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I've That's got the that best. domain, but I haven't put anything there yet. <laughs> and special guest star Cameron. Yeah, uh, so you can find me on Twitter at, uh, at ccunzelman. Uh, I have a blog, thiscageisworms.com, and you can play the games I make. I'm a game developer uh, at uh, heylookatmygames.com. Got a game coming out in the spring, adventure game. Play it. Woo! Woo! So excited for that. Me too. Um, I'm excited for it to be done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you are. And not rule my life anymore. <laughs> I've, I've always been jealous of hey, look at, look at my games.com. Yeah, that's a great URL. I, I am profoundly shocked that no one had taken it before. <laughs> <laughs> you can find stream, you friends, uh, stream Friends on the internet at streamfriends.tv, twitch.tv slash streamfriends, and at streamfriends on Twitter. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Have a good night. Bye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. I don't know how many of those goodbyes got on there. It's okay. <laughs> Those are just for us. Right. Yay, that was really fun. Yes, we'll have to do this yeah. again. Yeah, for sure. I had a good time. Yeah, just let me know. Yeah. Dungeon Keeper 2. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully that will work. On, I, th I, I think it'll be fine if the GOG version has fixed those things. So. Yeah, yeah, the last time I tried, like I said, it was like two years okay. ago. So I'm sure they've done something. They just hadn't. The last time I done it, they hadn't done anything from mm. it from the time they added it until. I